This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee Rumor has it. on the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 so Fab had posted a picture in his Instagram stories, and that picture is of Claudette Ortiz. You know her from City High. And he said, it's vintage now, but the natural vibe still. And that was his way of, you know, saying the natural vibe is still fire. He put the fire emoji after that. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of backlash after that of people thinking that he was trying to shoot his shot. Now, he wanted to set the record straight, and he posted... Uh, <coughs> Everybody be talking to that. Give people they flowers while they are alive. That's when you do it. They make it an issue. A- appreciation posts ain't mean to be nothing but flowers. People try to find the negative in everything, even in showing love. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, Fab's right, though. I mean, you know, you, you should, you know, give people their flowers, and there's nothing wrong with an ap- appreciation post. But I guess people were saying it because it's a woman. I don't understand. And it's about her body. Like, you know, just... Well, I know, I, I know, I know some couples on Instagram who do that. You know, they post pictures of beautiful women. So yeah. you know, and I, I clearly that couple has that understanding. I don't know, you know, what Fab and his queen do, but they might have been sitting together when he posted. That. I don't who know knows? if she's mad or not. I don't know what. That's it's what I'm, about. I'm just saying the percep- <laughs> People were mad, of course, because he had to respond and explain mm-hmm. that. So that yeah. was his response to the people who had things to say. I mean, that would be a fear factor challenge for me. What you mean? For me to post something like oh. that, that's a fair factor challenge in my house. You know, I don't want that smoke with my wife, but I don't know what Fab and his queen, what kind of understanding they got. How but fast why should we get hit over the head? That, that's the that's exactly. The I just understand why social media gets mad at things like they dating Fab. Mine like, they, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like they with, with Fab. Like, I wonder if no Emily sense. posted a picture of um, a guy, let's just say, and was like, you know, the workout body is still amazing or something like that appreciation post you got to do some push-ups fab that's all <laughs> that's it. i couldn't even see her doing that anyway but you know sometimes people have to think also if the roles were reversed and i don't know if she was mad or if she we don't was even okay know with that. we nope. have no idea they might have been sitting together when he posted that we don't have no idea she might they might have had a conversation and she absolutely was like, she's she, fire yeah she might have that's what i'm saying she might have bought it but up. maybe not we don't know we don't know when you post pictures of uh Morris Chestnut with his shirt off sometimes. Does your wife get jealous? First no, of but all, Envy first does. of all, rub your <laughs> eyes. Rub, rub your eyes. Because when, when I post pictures of Morris Chestnut, that's me. Shut up, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, Cat Shut Williams uh, said that he was upset. He was crushed after Cedric the Attainer, Entertainer allegedly <laughs> stole his joke. He was talking to The Morning Hustle, and here's what he said. The comedian was already bigger and more famous than me, and he took my closing joke and made it his closing joke on Kings of Comedy. I was in the theater, I paid my money to go see Kings of Comedy and to see my joke being there and not me um, was about as disrespectful as it gets in our craft. And um, I really took it really personally with Cedric the Entertainer at that time. I can see that. I can see totally why he would feel that way. All right, well, here's the joke. White people like space movies. Black people don't really do space like that. White people love space movies. They love movies about the moon and Mars where they can be leaving our ass down here on Earth. <laughs> That's what they think. They think they're going to leave us down here on Earth. They're going to move to the moon. Ain't going to happen. Y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. Oh, we'll be right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills. <laughs> Just rolling one headlight out. Sad part about it is there's probably no footage of Cat doing the joke because Cat said, like he said, he wasn't the bigger, bigger comedian. comedian at the time. Right. Uh, a lot of comedians say things like that have happened to them, too. I mean, no idea is original, nothing new under the sun. It know? depends on how much like it it was, though, if it very was very true. specific. All right, now get ready for Rolling Loud in New York. The uh, date has been announced. It's going to be October 28th to the 30th, and tickets do go on sale on Friday, at City, and it's going to be at City Field. Okay. So the headliners, 50 Cent, along with J. Cole and Travis Scott. Sounds mm. good. Special guest okay. Bobby Schmurter. But you know how Rolling Loud is. I mean, everybody's on it. Uh, Lil Baby, Kodak <clears throat> Black, Rick Ross, Playboy Cardi, Lil Yachty, Wale, City Girls, Bia, uh, Asian Doll, uh, Stunner for Vegas. I mean, so many people. Fetty Wap, uh, Fabio, Young M.A., Moneybag Yo, Polo G. Okay. Outside, really back open. Lil yeah. Dirk, yes, Lil Uzi. Really back open. Joey Badass, Pooh Shiesty. You said tickets go on sale Friday? Sada Baby, mm-hmm. So. Outside is really back open. I'm gonna buy some tickets for Friday. All right, and Future and Gunna are gonna be headlining the Jambalaya Festival series. What is that? <laughs> it's a growing uh, hip hop festival, and it's making its major return this year. It's gonna be in six different markets. 
So the it launches on Labor Day weekend with three shows in a row. And Where at? Uh, that's going to be in Arkansas mm -hmm. on September 3rd. Then it's going to be in Dallas on September 4th. Then Austin, Texas, September 5th. And then in three new cities, Phoenix, Arizona, on September 25th, Mountain View, California, October 2nd, and Mansfield, Massachusetts on October 9th. So that's future and gonna headline. You know why that makes me excited? Not because wow. I'm going to any of these shows because, you know, I don't go anywhere, but because all of these things create jobs. Yeah. You absolutely. know what I mean? People's money is starting to circulate again. The artists are eating. You know, the people who work at these Build festivals the stages, are eating. Tickets, the the oh, artist everything. teams mm -hmm. are eating. Jobs. This yep. is great job creation. That's what I love. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Shout to Revolt. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody else, the People's Choice Mix is up next. And again, let me shout out to uh, T.D. Jakes. Today is T.D. Jakes. You birthday. about to do a T.D. Jake mix? No. Yep. <laughs> you going you gonna to play a little T.D. Jake mix? Put a little oh, come on now. What T.D. Jakes song you got? What, what T.D. Jakes song you got? T.D. Jakes ain't got no song, but right you can there. play some gospel. You know what I'm saying? Play some, play some of his old sermons or something. You know what I mean? Bring, sing uh, Lord Prepare Me or something. I this test is your storm. I, I, I ain't got that in my Serato. All right. Well, let's get to the mix. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.